Nicholas. Welcome back to the Day of Decay show. Now we only have another week until Halloween. I know, right? So what a better way to describe how excited I am than to bring on my very special guest. Hello, Dave Decay. Trish Beauvais here. Now Trish Beauvais is an excellent makeup artist and she's going to show you and... What are you going to be for Halloween? Oh, what am I going to go for Halloween? Hmm, that is a good question. A few weeks ago, a good friend of mine created a Jason Voorhees outfit. So maybe I can borrow something from him. Let's see. I don't know. What do you think? Not spooky enough? Yeah, probably not. May I please do your makeup? That's a great idea. However, I don't think he can make me any more terrifying than I already am. But I do know somebody else that could really use a makeover. My monkey, George. <gasps> Yay! All right, so let's get right into this. Here is Trish Beauvais' makeup tutorial. Okay, well, Dave Decay has been gracious enough to let me do a makeup tutorial on his channel here on the YouTube. And here's a lovely pic of it. So I'm going to tell you what you'll need to get this look. Um, I started out with just doing a general outline of the cutout skull. And I did that using some shader brushes. This is a very small shader brush. This is a medium, and this is one larger one. These two brushes are from Made You Look here on YouTube. She's Made You Look by Lex. She's a wonderful makeup artist. I adore her. Tag her here. <laughs> so I just did the outline with some nude eyeshadow. All the eyeshadows I used came from my 
88 nude cool color palette. It has every color you will ever possibly need in life. And it looks kind of like that. Oh, then they're all falling out. <laughs> so basically you're just going to need a nude brown color to do your outlines. So it's kind of foolproof if you mess up something, you can just easily smudge it away. And then once you get the general outlines of the cutaway, your eye socket, your nose sockets, uh, and your teeth, you can go over them with a gray and then go over that later on with black or white, whichever part you're on. So after we get the general outlines and shading down with these three brushes, I then used to get down my base, since I'm still kind of tan, I may not look it in this light, still kind of tan from summer, I could just use my concealer palette that I use, it's Graftobium. You can use white face paint, um, white grease paint, or any fair concealer you have. And then I set that with a white powder from my contour palette. This is also from BH Cosmetics. And it has all your contouring, but you don't need any of those. Actually, if you have a contour palette, you could probably use your uh, nude shade from this palette nice light brown uh, you would use for your light uh, contour. But I used the white powder in this. So once I set the uh, white base, I then went in the eye socket with a black gel liner, which is, once you go in with this, it's set. It dries within seconds and you can hardly really blend it out. I used, oh, I used a big concealer brush for the base and then I used this gel pencil and it went on like really really pitch black. You go over that with a black shadow to set it very well so that the light reflects it well and you can blend it out just a bit. I used this big blending brush from BH Cosmetics as well. It's the best brush, blending brush ever. It blends everything out in one little swoop. I also then shaded with gray the crease of my eye the bridge of my nose, um, around the teeth area, and you can see from the video where I shaded. Then, um, in the de with the details of the teeth and jaw area, I used this tiny detail brush from Major Look as well. Um, and then I just went in the details with gray first, and then in black, and I went over the teeth with a white eyeliner pencil. You could also use white face paint or you can go back in. I think I also went in over to brighten them up with the concealer. And then I set it all with some powder and that was my final look. So I hope you find it easy to apply it on yourself and you enjoy it and have a very, very happy Halloween. All right, ghouls and ghoulettes, how awesome was that? Thank you so much for being on my show, Trish, and I hope you do return. I also hope everybody else returns, and if you really enjoyed what you saw tonight, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ghoulies and ghoulettes, remember, stay spooky.